Well, it's a, it's a, it's a double-headed question. It's a two-part question. So the first part of the question is, should the uh, federal deficit be reduced? And, you know, unquestionably, the federal deficit should be reduced. We should be applying monies to where monies can go to good use as opposed to monies to go to debt. And it goes without, without saying that we should be reducing the federal deficit. Now, should we, re, re, should we be reducing the federal deficit at the cost of government services? It becomes a question, if I look at it from the view of a businessman, there's almost no other opportunity to reduce uh, government spending and not reduce government programs. And I think it would be false to say that we can take money out and increase programs. So um, should it happen that way, we have to keep the needs of the people in mind. And I will point out that the, uh, the Green Party platform has been looked at by a third party and it does call out that the deficit can be reduced and can be reduced prudently and responsibly much faster than most people think it can be. And that would be where I stand on that. Thank you. Adam? Sure. Okay. Uh, in principle, we believe in balanced budgets. If you look at the performance of the NDP governments over all the provinces of Canada, you will see that the NDP is actually uh, quite in favor of uh, balanced budgets. A lot of our proposals do cost money, and we have to show the people that it doesn't cost as much as you think, or there is a way to do it without uh, putting our country into deficit. In fact, the Nova Scotia government, which is an NDP government, posted a surplus just last week. Um, perhaps it was yesterday from the paper. Um, so the, the principle is there. Now, do we have to get government services to do that? Uh, I would not want that to happen. In fact, a lot of savings can be achieved by more government services, such as a home care system. That would reduce cost for the hospital care system. Um, also, by a collaborative approach for prescription drugs, we can reduce, again, the, the cost of prescription drugs to our country. So there, there are ways to achieve savings if you make the proper initial investment. Also, social programs that fight, say, drug addiction can reduce the rate of crime and the rate of uh, serious problems caused by overdoses and the like. So. Um, as our economy improves, we will get more money in. The deficit will be reduced naturally as long as we don't do anything reckless. So uh, that is pretty much our agenda. So Cameron? Canadian, sorry, Brian, families, Brian, sorry. Canadian families cannot live in a sea of deficit, and neither can governments. In 1993, when the Liberal Party came into power, we had a $43.5 billion deficit. 33 cents of every dollar spent at that time was borrowed money. I certainly can't run my household on borrowed money, neither can you and neither can your viewers. So what do we need to do? We need to, first of all, get Canadians behind the need to eliminate what now is over a $40 billion deficit. We did that in the 90s and we were able to go into the black, but we still, of course, have a significant debt. I do not believe in, in the cutting of services. What I believe in is, is a clear exit strategy to deal with deficit. And the Liberal Party has indicated very strongly that within two years we will reduce it down to 1% of the gross domestic product of the GDP. What is important to note is that, again, when you have a significant amount of, of uh, deficit, you are passing this on to future generations in increased debt. And that no one can do. There's no question that, uh, and I was, as I said, far Parliamentary Secretary to both uh, Mr. Martin and to Mr. Manley. And one of our jobs, one of the jobs I was assigned, was to reduce 5% across the board every department to eliminate spending in those departments and asking those ministers to ensure that that was done. Through attrition, you will obviously have some. But if we cut, if we, if we cut to the bone and eliminate uh, services, which we're already seeing, unfortunately, through Service Canada, that does not provide the kind of assistance that Canadians are looking for. So having an exit strategy on deficit, the Liberal Party has. The Liberal Party has third party validation. And I would point out former Deputy Minister of Finance and the individual responsible policy looked at our platform, said it, it, will, it will work. But what is important is we have to get Canadians behind the deficit and get this eliminated because again, we all will pay for that. And I certainly don't want your children or grandchildren to continue to pay for that in the future. Okay, thank you. Now it's the debating time, five minutes. Go ahead. Yeah, again, I would start off here by saying I don't know how much debate there would be. You know, the how to get to where we want to go 
is something to debate with Canadians in Parliament and have the voice of Canadians be in Parliament. I think what's interesting to me in this, even in this format, is to say, what's it going to take to get people working together? What voice has to be at the table to have something shift so that people start working together? And we can see a new kind of government, a true democracy, something that embraces what's possible when people do work together. So the issues are going to be the issues. But the question would be for me, what voice do you have to have at the table to take on these big issues? I say you have to have the voice of Canadians at the table. And the voice of Canadians has to be a mandate by Canadians. And then that has to be the voice that's in Parliament. And it has to be a voice that will have people working together. And I certainly agree with that. And that in my questionnaire that I sent out, I heard the voices from my constituents often say that it's sometimes better to be a listener than a talker in politics. And so listening to what they said, what about deficit? How do we deal with it? Well, remember that in 2006, when the present government came to power, there's $12.5 billion surplus. And that was, el that was eliminated by two cuts to the GST. Governing is about choices. If your choices is to eliminate or to reduce a, a consumption tax and put us into a significant deficit from the beginning, I don't think that that is the way to go. Again, I, I favor personal income tax cuts. But deficit, the deficit is a real issue. And if we, are, if we do, if we're spending 25, 30 cents on every dollar on the deficit, that means we're not spending it on climate change issues. That's we're right. not, change, not investing in health care. We're not investing in the real priorities of Canadians. So again, those choices are important. Yeah. I'd like to say that Jack Layton has a tremendous track record of attempting to work with other parties and he is the leader of the New Democratic Party and we agree with that approach. Um, ideally, you want to be working with other parties because other perspectives do uh, sometimes point out areas for improvement. Um, and I agree that there are ways of decreasing the deficit by looking at how real savings can be achieved as opposed to fake ones. I'll give you an example. A number of years ago, the provincial government decided that it would start firing secretaries. Well, the end result of that was that the lawyers had to go stand in front of the photocopier themselves. So now we're paying for the lawyers uh, big bucks to do the same work that we used to be paying a secretary to do. So you have to look very carefully. So and one of the yes, issues, uh, I was just going to say that one of the issues that we found uh, in Parliament and why there was a contempt of Parliament uh, in terms of dealing with the Conservative government was the fact that we didn't have all the figures. We didn't know what the cost of prisons were, the cost of fighter jets were, and the fact now the government has announced, well, we've suddenly saved $11 billion. My question is, where did that come from? It was not in the budget that was announced in March. So you have to, you can't yeah. play with figures. Either you have them or you don't have them. I, I can count Jack Layton as a personal friend of mine for 20 years. I can count Elizabeth May as a personal friend of mine when she was at Sierra Club. Mm -hmm. I know what it means to be collaborative. And I must say that, you know, we don't all have the answers, not, not every one of us. But what we do have, I believe strongly, is that when the role of a member of parliament is oversight and you don't have those figures, how is it you can do your job? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. I think uh, we all heard that the three parties are going to reduce the deficits or bring to balance. Uh, uh, that's great, but uh, we, as a voters, we want to know what are the real actual plans or actions that's going to achieve that goal. This is not easy to mm -hmm. reduce the budget without cutting the services. This is a, so I wonder, can you give okay. more in, Again, in addition attrition. to you said? Part of it is yeah. attrition, part of it is review of all of the, all of the po um, programs of departments. I can tell you for a fact that there's some departments have a program that have been there for 10 years and they think it's sacrosanct. It isn't. So we review that. Do we need it today? They look at that. They'd also look at issues with regard to, we've said, within uh, two years, 1% of GDP. How we do that, again, is going through line by line. We also ensure that we have an affordable program that we can invest in one hand and at the same time have a clear exit strategy. What is critical is an exit strategy which we are proposing. And again, we've done it before and we can do it again. Yeah, so a uh, couple of things. We'll come right out and say we should not be subsidizing extremely profitable oil companies that have a secure market and tons of access to investment capital. That will save $2 billion right there and uh, give us a little bit of room to allocate some extra money to pay down the deficit and pay for some of our programs. Also, uh, as we come out of the recession, it is natural for the extra stimulus uh, packages to be finishing as well as hopefully the rate of employment will come up.